Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today I am going to show you a pair of held Titan gloves that I've had in my personal glove rotation for, God, it's got to be at least four full seasons now. These have been worn more than any glove that I currently have, and I don't know that I've ever worn one particular set of gloves as much as I've worn these. So let's give you a nice close-up look. We've done a feature and benefit on these gloves. They are phenomenal. We're going to redo a little bit of that for you now, but let's begin by just getting nice and tight on these, Josh, and showing them what these look like after four seasons of riding. Tons of laps turned in these gloves. I've never fallen in them, knock on wood. Hopefully I can keep it that way. With the amount of falling that I've done, perhaps these are my lucky gloves and they've kept me off the ground. That's going to give you an idea of what they look like now. All the seams are still perfect, right? Everything is in great shape. They're a little dirty. They need to be washed. We are going to do a separate video on glove care. We're going to show you how to wash these. It's a very important step in taking care of a high-end product like this. It's something that I haven't done to these and I should have, right? I really should have taken better care of them than I have. That would even help to extend the service life because what happens with a pair of gloves is as you sweat, right, and soak the gloves with sweat, your salt, okay, salt from your body ends up in the hide. That can cause the glove to rot. It weakens the hide, period. And that is one of the main reasons that a glove can prematurely fail to wear out before it really should have. You need to get that out of there, okay. I failed to do that and this pair of gloves has still treated me very, very well, okay? Quick feature and benefit. We'll start with the palm. Huge area of Stingray, okay? Right? We've got some energy absorbing material stitched in behind that. Carbon fiber slider here, carbon fiber slider there. The principle behind all this is simple, right? These all have a lower coefficient of friction than just the kangaroo hide would. When we fall, we all want to put our hands out. It's instinctive, right? Having this there allows the gloves to slide easy. It does a number of different things. One is it puts far less torque on the seams on the gloves, so it helps keep them together. Two, it transmits less energy into your wrist, your arm, your shoulder because it's not loading up. It's just sliding, okay? And three is instead of causing a tumble, it can help prevent that and allow you to slide, get on your back, your shoulder, which is really where you want to be if you happen to fall off the bike, okay? Tons of knowledge and technology into that palm. The Stingray Hide is amazing, so abrasion resistant, yet it's, it's surprisingly soft and supple. Unlined Kangaroo Palm, held uses nothing but the best when it comes to the Kangaroo that's used in this. Perforation between each finger for ventilation. These two fingers are stitched together, safety wrap, pinky, extensive use of Stingray hide there once again. Overlay of leather here, energy absorbing foam on the back side, we've got motion panels in these two fingers. I'm a two finger breaker so that's perfect for me. Composite knuckle protector, carbon fiber titanium. We've got a motion panel here in the gauntlet, right, so when you make a fist, that's able to expand, kind of works in conjunction with the back part of the gauntlet here. There is a serious back of the hand protector in this area as well. Perforation here, Velcro closure at the wrist, Velcro closure here for the gauntlet, more Stingray, and this is backed up by a ton of energy absorbing foam, okay? Reflective piping, if you're going to ride these on the street. This is a very technical glove assembled by Craftsman, okay? The kangaroo is all stamped in Germany. It's then trucked over to Hungary, and that is where the gloves are assembled in Held's high-end factory there. They do only the high-end Held gloves. True Craftsman, these things are literally works of art, okay? No question. The purpose behind this video is to simply show you how well high-end product. I mean, most people, you see the price on these things, right? Well over 300 bucks. You're like, man, that's a lot of money for a pair of gloves. That's crazy. 
just give you a look at the inside, the Kevlar mat, right? You can kind of see some of the, the wear from the in and the out. I've had these things on and off a million times. They serve me well. If these gloves are in your budget and you've looked at them before and you've considered buying them, right? I would definitely give these my endorsement. They've held up well. We've seen others that have crashed and done a phenomenal job. Held has a great reputation. This is a great pair of gloves. They size consistently. I think I said that earlier. I'm wearing a size 11 in these. I wear a size 11 in the Phantoms, right? A little snugger than the Phantoms, right? But still broken. Gave me a perfect fit. Definitely one of our most recommended products. These are the Held Titan Kangaroo gloves. Four years into it. I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTracker.com. Stay tuned. For that next video, we're going to show you all how to wash these gloves and take good care of them.